into one of my paintings or something. It is so cool. Look at this light. It's all Austrian crystal. What is it? It's made by an artist. It's very French. Yes. Yeah. Just like you. <laughs> Right underneath the fountain, she had her head up like that. Oh, sweet! 365 days of poetry. Oh my gosh. So it's all these different artists? That they are. Artists and poets. One for each day of the year. Read this one. Okay. If you can find a path with no obstacles, it probably doesn't lead anywhere. <laughs> Artists are able to communicate. That's one of the main things that they can do. And when you have that ability and you're recognized by people, everything that you communicate is heard. So if people are going to hear what I communicate, I want it to be something that's going to change their life for the better. I really work on finding those moments that make them happy and finding those moments that make me happy that I know people recognize in themselves. This would be really cool to paint in the watercolor mm -hmm. because watercolor is very transparent and you feel like you can go into it Wonderful. you know so i love the light right here the dark and the light right there and okay i'm putting this in a painting for sure. <laughs> the reason i paint french scenes is because first of all i'm french and second of all because the lighting it's like a very golden light and it has a lot of light and shadow. It makes you want to look at the environment because it's so beautiful. I really want to be able to portray the shadows and the sunlight because then you can feel it. These are from France. Uh, they're from the 1940s and they're made of fine china. We found them in an antique market and then they're hand painted. I like this one. If we are to reach real peace in this world, and if we are to carry on a real war against war, we shall have to begin with the children. You walk in, you have a hard day at work, you lost your job, your best friend died, whatever the tragedy is, and then you look at a painting and there's a little bit of sunlight on the top of a table and somebody left a rose and you can feel that the temperature is like 75 degrees and the breeze is just perfect. You go away from your problem and you go into the painting and you remember that there is a reason why you're fighting these obstacles. It does, doesn't it? Let me see what it looks like over here. See what happens when you put it there? It's gorgeous because it picks up all these colors and brings it into that. I gathered these books and this frame and these pictures and the textures on this pick up all the little greens and all the different colors. I love it. And this slate color in here picks this up. This whole frame is perfect with it. There's always a feeling of presence in my paintings. You can see it because I'll leave an element of that somewhere. It'll either be a note on the door or it'll be a rose that's dropped on the ground somewhere. Even when I do a door and window, I want it to have life, you know. I don't want it to be an abandoned house where it was just beautiful, but it's been there forever. There's always an element that somebody was just there. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Thank you. 
is still fantastic in this store. And you have to pick out the frame. This detailing all around the edges really picks up the color of the framing that you have painted in the back of the picture. It looks really good together. And I love this subtle detail that mixes in, you know, more of a traditional part to a more elaborate frame. There is still beauty and we have to keep going and we have to be positive, which is what I want to do with my paintings is make people positive. And if you can make people feel better, then they have more of an ability to be able to confront whatever the obstacles are. Everyone should carefully observe which way his heart draws him and then choose that way with all his strength. That's really cool. Good.